Now, for better or worse, our entire lives are basically compiled into our computers and our phones nowadays. That makes it easier for hackers to get a hold of your private info, whether by hacking your device or through a data breach. So how can we keep our information private? I spoke to an expert from Consumer Reports about how we can keep sensitive information out of their hands. Hey, Bree, thanks so much for joining us today on The Day Ahead. Uh, we're going to talk all things data privacy today. And is that a thing of the past? Can, can we still reclaim our own private information? You know, a lot of it just seems to be gone. Uh, it kind of <laughs> depends on your perspective. But there are things you can do to salvage what, what may or may not be left. Where do we start? Well, you know, first, start with a good password and lots of them. Uh, great hard passwords that make it that much harder for a company and for hackers to to get your information. I always, I always say like I love my passwords because they're funny. They're funny to me, <laughs> and I wish I could share them with people more. Uh, but I guess I guess it's a good thing we don't. Um, any other simple things we could do just to protect our information? You know, anything that has multi-factor authentication, uh, make sure it's enabled. Okay. Multi-factor basically requires, um, you know, an application to send you a second, ask for a second form of identification, uh, especially if you're logging in from a new device, um, like, a, you know, a, a thumbprint or a code texted to your phone. Um, and that, you know, it just makes it that much harder for hackers to get you and, you know, makes them pick somebody else. Is that what a 2FA is? Yes. Okay. Okay. Just making sure I got that clear. So if you see that, do it. <laughs> um, how important are software updates when it comes to privacy? Because I am of the mind of where like, I will try and push that back for as long as I can, because something new on my iPhone just doesn't seem to resonate always with me. Right. And a lot of people were super paranoid about those iPhone uh, updates. Mm -hmm. I mean, we always hear those horror stories about phones breaking. <laughs> but when it comes to security, you know, you really need to make sure that those updates are installed. And yeah, it takes time. But you know what, you can set it to do it overnight. And that way it won't interrupt your day. What about social media? How much does this come into play? And are there things we could probably do on that to help us secure and keep our own private information secure? Social media is one of those areas where consumers actually have a lot of control over what they do. I mean, if you don't share it, no one's going to find out. Okay. And where people really shoot themselves in the foot is they put everything on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, you know, stuff that people don't need to know. You know, think twice about posting, you know, things that show where you live or, you know, letting people know you're on vacation or where your kids go to school. I mean, these are things that you can control. Self-control, theme of this yeah. interview. For more information on how to keep your private information out of the hands of hackers, just head over to consumerreports.org.